Hey fam, hey, how you doing? Got another video coming right at coming right at you. We're getting it from Urbanville magazine, as you just saw. And it's gonna be based on Phaedra Parks and Nene Leaks, Candy Burris, Ta Tucker, Portia Williams, and Carlos King. By way of can you believe it? Merita Medicines, Dr. Heavenly. Okay. I'm like, what What in the world? What in the world do we got going on? How does the Dr. Heavenly play into the scenario or the demise of a friendship and the best possible drama we could see on TV with uh, Phaedra Paws and Candy and Nene and Kenya and all that stuff going on? One man brought it down, honey. He swear he didn't get fired. But yet, he ain't did too much since being fired. Especially when he had that, what it was called. Him and Todd Tucker was work, working on something called Divas or Hollywood or something like that. That didn't last very long, of course. But it just is what it is. He had a gold mine meeting Carlos King at one time with working and being an executive producer of The Real Housewives of Atlanta on the show, per se. And then he just tried to get it a little bit too spicy. And I was like, oh, Lord. And the walls come tumbling down. And here we are in the current present state of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Being held down by Kenya Moore and Nene Leakes. And they're just ongoing fights that make no kind of sense. None. But the clash between Merit and Medicine. Uh, Dr. Heavenly trying to give us a spin on what could have possibly happened and was Carlos King fired and what's happening lately with Portia Candy and Phaedra Pauls by the way of Carlos King putting his two cents in which was nothing but a bunch of lies from what <laughs> we found out to be okay but Phaedra Paul paid the biggest price okay her professionalism when it came to her attorney at a law degree and, you know, her trying to keep that intact as far as her uh, livelihood is concerned. She was making money still doing attorney-type entertainment lawyer, lawyer, lawyer ring, and she had her mortician license still being current and she was doing that. You could say she took a major hit financially uh, by not being on the show. Uh, Cause it did pay very lucrative for her as well, but it is what it is. And then she was into some other fraudulent stuff uh, with Apollo and this, that, and the third, and she eased her way out of that as well, and raised those boys very well, very respectfully, with the help of her family, I'm sure. Uh, while Apollo was locked up in jail. But I came by way of the store, like I see, it uh, went up, it was on my um, media feed on social media, and Urban Bell had brought it out. But before I go into the commentary, you know, I always got to have my sidebars and stuff. So I really wanted to catch up with my family and see how they were faring with this coronavirus, how everything is going uh, for them, this, that, and the third. And for my uh, family members who live in New York or California, have y'all had the CDC or any other Department of Health and Human Services come putting an enactment where they felt that they needed to come by your home or arbitrarily randomly call you on your phone to see if you wanted to be tested for some COVID-19 antibodies? Have y'all heard that before, child? Have y'all heard that, family? Because that's what they try to do here in Atlanta, just recently. Just as of today, I've been hearing about it. Because, of course, you know my brother, he be keeping me up on what's what and who's who. <laughs> Whether I want to hear about it or not, he's always keeping me abreast with what's out there. Okay. Oh, but anyway, he was telling me when I was at work, uh, and I was getting ready to come home anyway, but Make a lot of story short, he had said he had heard on the news that CDC in uh, up here in Atlanta, or down here in Atlanta, I should say, is trying to come by the urban areas, uh, certain parts of Atlanta, where they're going to be doing testing, 
okay? Not COVID testing to see if you got the uh, virus, but they're coming to see if you have antibodies that they could use on severely uh, insuff insufficient uh, low immune type people who have been exposed to the virus and they're fighting it and you know they just need your plasma to uh help them get over you see what i'm saying how i got over okay by the help of the lord but anyway i'm like make it like it was the way it used to be okay that's what i'm talking about but i don't think we're going back to how it was i think we're facing a new era a new time and a new scene that's going to be played out in our uh lives front and center okay but not like i wish they would come to my house or call me randomly talking about uh can i test you for antibodies i'm like no nah, can you test me for the coronavirus can you do that first okay and if i have it what you gonna do with my antibodies hell i might need my own antibiotics to fight off my uh disease or the disease that the world ungave me that the lord can heal at any time if he choose to do so hallelujah praise jesus thank you lord but my whole point is have y'all heard of such a thing what is the world coming to i'm like and then i'm trying to figure out like i was telling my daughter and my mama how the hell they get my telephone number because i ain't been doing that at the cdc for them to just arbitrarily randomly call me or show up at my doorstep first of all how they know where i live and again how they know to call me i don't understand that people get with it get in them comments and tell me what the hell is going on i think they don't took hippo to another whole uh, state of mind okay they infringing on my um privacy at least that's how i'm getting it but anyway i thought i'd just throw that in y'all ear because that's what we're facing here in atlanta right now <laughs> i'm like it's just something every day you turn around it's ever, either every day every week every month they're coming up with something else i like go away coronavirus come and get another century or something okay decade whatever the century is a little longer so let's come back another century <sighs> but anyway we're going to get on into this story. I don't tear it a little bit too long. It come out by the way of Urban Bell Mag Magazine. Like I said, go on over there. UrbanBellMag.com. Get your salacious stories or whatnot. That's happening over there. Of course, you know Anderson. Amanda Anderson Niles is always over there. Filling us up with salacious tea. Whether we like it or not. You know, whether we can prove it's right or wrong. It's just talk. Okay. Something we come and talk with our friends, family members about. And we make our assumptions they make their assumptions and then we get collectively can agree to disagree okay but anyway she titles her article former real housewives of atlanta producer carlos carlos king addresses long rumor a running rumor about phaedra paul so i'm like is it a rumor or is it some truth to it carlos let us know honey because i'm like man you know you ran up that lie and it was just so salacious and untruth and unfounded that they had to get rid of you and Phaedra because it was just too much. They didn't want no lawsuits because, you know, everything with the Real Housewives of Atlanta is settled out of court. Okay, we do everything out of court is what they have told us. And if you watch some of my videos, I gave y'all the do's and don'ts of being a cast member of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and how you must get down if you want to be a part of the panel and the show. All right. But anyway, going into the article. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta fans are already talking about who they want for season 13. Okay. Child. I'm like, hey, we already told you who to replace. <laughs> and you know Candy Burris is one of them. Because if she get a spinoff show, which it seems like she has gotten. Uh, we need to see her doing her own thing like Kim Zosiak. Fly. Or a fall fell out on your face, Candy. You don't need Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore. You don't got your fan base. They're going to follow you. And they're going to support you. And you know, I'm going to be right over there being nosy. Making my commentary. So in a sense, I would still be supporting you as well. Okay, so yes, go fly. Be good. I mean, you felt Phaedra portrayed you, and it was a blessing because you got on or you stayed on this very well lucrative platform, and you've done well by yourself, okay, or for yourself and your family by being on this platform, okay, and Todd ain't hurt too uh, bad either, even though the rumor was spread on y'all, y'all still bit was able to make money off that rumor, okay, 
We go on back into the article says in this conversation has been taking place, even though the current season hasn't even ended. One person who polarizes the debate is Phaedra Parks. Nene Leakes recently said Phaedra should return to the show. And I agree. I concur totally. We need new wind. We need a new blown pieces. And y'all go watch um the AT Alien. Uh, Michelle Brown, she does good commentary on the show as well, okay? She, and she personally know Candy Burris. And she, probably has, she probably know all the housewives. I think she do. So uh, she's a very um, well-rooted uh, blogger here in Atlanta. And the Gossip Entertainment News, they know who she is and she know who they are. Uh, she gets to sound with someone. I think her and Candy don't fell out, though. But it just is what it is. You can't be friends with people in the celebrity realm, as Funka Dineva had eloquently put it, and then want to dish dirt on them. You kind of have to have be standoffish with them, not be friends with them, because if that's how you make your money and your livelihood, y'all ain't going to be best buds or best friends when they have to drop tea, okay, to get paid, of course. So I think that's probably what happened to her and michelle brown she might have said something that she didn't want to say and michelle was gonna say it because that's her livelihood uh salacious stories that she must bring out to the public so she can get paid okay and Candy knew those um particular um barriers or whatnot and maybe michelle took a little too far I, i'm not sure but all fair war and love you know you got to make your money. Got to make your money. You choose how you make your money now. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, um, in, Nene, in Nene's opinion, Candy Burris has been running from Phaedra. Oh, that's what Nene's putting out there. Candy Girl has been running for Phaedra Parks. Now twirl on that, twirl on that, twirl on that. Okay, and we always and we always wanted to see the end and grand scheme of things because they were so tight with one another at one time. And then when things did go left, or south, I should say, they really ended up, and we really didn't get the full-fledged ending. We didn't get any closure, so whether they friends or foes at this point, we need closure. So I'm right with Nina. Yes, bring Phaedra Pauls back so we can see how her and Candy gets down in them streets, them Atlanta, Real Housewives of Atlanta streets. Okay, but going back to the article, it says um, Candy Burris have been running for Phaedra, and they have unresolved issues that fans want to see addressed. Interestingly enough, former Real Housewives of Atlanta producer Carlos King recently addressed the long-running rumor about what led to Phaedra's exit from the show. Okay, so he finna weigh in uh, by way of, uh, I guess you could say, being on Dr. Heavenly's YouTube channel platform. He's going to give us some tea on what really transpired. But we'll go on and finish this article. It says, Phaedra Parks' demise on The Real Housewives of Atlanta was a controversial one. During the season 9 reunion, Portia Williams would reveal that it was Phaedra who told her that Candy Burris and Todd Tucker wanted to drug her, then have her their way with her in their sex dungeon. Candy was shocked and furious when this came out. And Phaedra was pushed off the show. During this time, it was also rumored that then producer Carlos King is the one who told Phaedra that Candy and Todd wanted to do this to Portia. And he was fired for this. Okay. Interesting enough, Carlos addressed a long running rumor during his appearance on Dr. Heavenly Kimes YouTube channel. When Heavenly asked him if he was really fired, Carlos said, I left the show. I did not get fired. That will always be the dumbest rumor when it comes to that. And it's funny because when you Google anything, I've been fired so many times. It's like I was on The Apprentice. Okay. And I'm like, man, Carlos, stop uh, alluding to the fact. Stay on the subject. Don't try to do tit for tat. We talking about you being fired. And evidently, it must have some truth to it because you wasn't on the show. Okay? And you didn't too, do too much after that as well. And it's okay. You tried to put out a story. It went too far too fast. And it blew up in your face. It's okay. Uh, most people have had that happen to them before. Not as quickly as that. But 
you know, things do transpire. It gets out of hand. And, you know, people have to start cutting ties. And, like I said, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they don't go to court for nothing. They settle that shit out of court. So, uh, I guess the only possible solution was to get rid of you, <laughs> Carlos, as well as Phaedra Pauls. But Nene's saying, enough is enough is enough. I can't go on. I can't go on on now more now yes she's trying to say we need answers to questions and we need carlos king to confess to dr heavenly and if you don't want to confess to dr heavenly we definitely need phaedra pause back on the show so we can confront these alleged rumors okay so we can clear it up since everybody want Nene's stuff to be cleared up with Kenya Moore and they want Kenya to be coming out correct can we get Faye Faye and um uh, KK many can of birds to sit down and hash out their differences on this Porsche sex dungeon trafficking whatever you want to call it even though Candy and Todd went and made some money off that sex dungeon allegedly allegation okay and i'm right with uh heavenly some ain't ain't smelling good in that milk let's talk family let's talk about this situation what y'all think about it but going back before y'all deliberate let me finish the article for you it said um carlos king still saying it's the dumbest rumor out there i did not get fired okay well carlos if you didn't get fired maybe you got laid off or maybe they just said okay you can say whatever you want to but you're not getting any more press you're not getting any more paychecks from us so whether we fire you you left the scene you resign however it went you ain't no longer with bravo entertainment okay we'll let you you know muddle over how you want uh, social media to perceive your not being here with the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise anymore. You are Bravo in, uh, or True Entertainment, however you want to see us. You uh, make up your mind. We ain't going to have anything to say, but you're no longer working for us, okay? And they can allude to you being fired, you were let go, you were uh, resign, you resigned, uh, you took a leave of absence, which is permanently, whatever, okay? But anyway, he said he was not fired. And then it goes on to say, and the other thing about the whole situation that happened season nine, I had nothing to do with that. Let me make that very clear. If that was the case, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, why wouldn't you be here today, Carlos? Okay. Uh, it was just a rumor. And they handled it out of um, the courtroom. So, no, it, it was no need for jail time for you or Phaedra. Y'all just politely got off of a lucrative show that was making y'all look like nuts, fools, however you want to call it. And you missed a very lucrative check. So that was enough right there to bury you. But anyway, he goes on to say uh, he wouldn't be here today. I would be in jail. So let's start there. And that's all I have to say about that. Love and Marriage Huntsville star Melanie Hope made an appearance too. And uh, let me see if I can get anything to play uh from that video that she did meaning dr heavenly clients on her youtube channel where she was interviewing um mr carlos king if it will play without buffering but it seemed like it want to buffer but anyway um it won't play for whatever reason guys so y'all get down in the comments y'all let me know what y'all thought about mr carlos king coming out saying this that and the third but i can read you some comments that were posted it said um lies just like he was the one who brought clawfoot claudia on the show to take down nene and somehow mysteriously claudia ended up getting nene's medical records and sharing them with kenya who then decided to throw them in nene's face nene slapped their asses with two sis and desist and a certain producer was allegedly suspended for sharing that bit of information but you didn't hear that from me okay so that's someone else throwing up the mess that Carlos King was trying to uh, get himself into and end up getting himself out of a lucrative job in the entertainment field, okay? Um, then we had another one said, of course, he didn't tell Phaedra that. This is just another one of the lies Phaedra put out there to save her fraudulently 
image and her peach. And Kenya still talks to Carlos. She wouldn't talk to him if he really did that to Candy. She rides for Candy. And, uh, <laughs> honey please can you ride with anybody as long as you ain't getting her straight she'll she'll sit in the atmosphere and environment of all the people she claimed to like okay to get tea and dirt in case she have to use it one day but that's just my uh response back to that commenter but then we had another commenter that says but candy never sued phaedra either so don't you find that a little strange honestly as upset as she pretended to be i thought she would have taken phaedra to the cleaners but never ha that never happened and the fact that most of candy's upset came after the episode air was really suspect to me most people would have hauled phaedra into court as soon as she said whatever she said the fact never happened uh, that never happened leads to me to think that was something that Candy didn't want to come out. Plus, Carlos was Todd's close friend for years. I'm sure he knows where many of the bodies are buried. And one thing I can say to that commenter, no, when you are part of the Real Housewives uh, franchise period or Charles of Sunset, Charles of Sunset and Com, friend com or whatever that new show they got no you can't go to court you have to settle everything within that forum there is no court there's no justice <laughs> it's like you sign up you want these millions of dollars or whatever that's what you're gonna get but you're not taking anybody to court okay it's reality tv what you get is what you get you get all the foolery the fakery the fuckery the fraudulently shitty activity that any of these members of the, these shows want to give you okay and that's pretty much that's all you have all right and going to the last particular <coughs> commenter uh, they said, um, Candy was the one who really put the rumor out. She and her candy coated clique were the ones bringing it on camera all the time. Candy then used the rumor to make money. That was a sign that she was not worried about it. I think there's some truth to it. If Candy had been so offended by the rumor, she and her crew wouldn't have been on camera making it in a storyline. Phaedra should come back. I'm like, bring Phaedra, Brett, bring Phaedra, Brett. Okay, and I'm going to read this last one, and then I'm, I'm for sure I'm going to end the video. It said, F Candy and Kenya and let Portia, I'm sorry, F Candy and Kenya and let Phaedra come back. Back. Who is Candy? And what Phaedra said was true. That's why she didn't sue Phaedra. They were very close. Then Candy, uh, she's supposed to be hurt, but open the dungeon up. I said, <laughs> bring Phaedra back because she got shade for days for Kenya. If Candy threatened to leave, bye. She got enough money. She don't need to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Candy's sneaky and dirty, and she is trying to get Nene's position or spot. I used to like her, but she has become so dirty with Kenya, and they both need Phaedra to sit them down and leave Nene alone. <laughs> I'm like, okay, can uh, Tanya Sim Simmons, I'm right there with you, baby girl. I'm right there with you, okay? We need Southern Belle to come back to get twirled back in her position, okay? And calm her down from being a what do you call it? Um, is it an F5 tornado that really taps the to a, a measly F uh, zero? Okay, or, or just a thunderstorm. Because can, can, Kenya and Candy have been doing too much mess. But I can say I like how Candy definitely gets on Kenya ass when, they tr when Kenya's trying to make Cynthia look like a total nut. It's a shame that the young crew got to come get... Uh, protection for the old crew you would think cynthia would be ready to slay people with her verbalness to it, it you know it didn't even matter no more slay for days get them in order get them in check you know what i'm saying because she still got a mean walk when it comes to that um walking and modeling things she be doing but damn trying to get these women in check who is just seems like it's just so new to cynthia like damn you in your fifties, you still can't get nobody together, Cynthia. Oh my goodness. But that's what I had for this video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this stuff that Dr. Heblin called out um, or interviewed Carlos King on her platform, her YouTube platform, and wanted to find out the true tea on why he left the Real Housewives of Atlanta and was it because he had told Phaedra some very salacious news on what Candy Burns and her husband was trying to do. And it's Nene. 
fair for wanting to get Phaedra to come back to settle the unknowns of the demise of um, the friendship between Phaedra and Candy and what really went down with that dungeon thing. <laughs> and why Candy feels she got to stop Phaedra's coin when it comes to the entertainment work. Because I know I've been seeing Phaedra more so out there uh, looking thirsty and everything, trying to get back into this entertainment field. I mean, either she's showing her body she's showing her family she's showing her ass she's showing lack thereof of any clothing on her body she's showing she dating you know some actor and it all just seems so fraudulent but like i said this entertainment pays some some really good dore me books you see what i'm saying because having a interesting well thought out found it more moralistic type of career is not enough it's not enough they want this salacious fake fully fraudulent uh fakery type of um entertainment business paycheck to get them out there known to the who's who of the who's who you know what i'm saying i don't understand but family y'all get down and tell me what y'all thought about it what y'all feel about this particular uh scene of events that dr heavily on brought out to the forefront with of course um urbanbillmag.com magazine and basically trying to expose something or unexposed something that really wasn't settled from the beginning and that's phaedra and candy's uh relationship and how carlos king had a major part into that <laughs> okay yes got a fire got him fired everybody was fired it ain't been the same it ain't been the same because i'm like make it like it was the way it used to be when i wanted to watch the real house of Atlanta so confidently so fed you can what do you call it trash kenya from sun up to sundown because only she could make it twirl around yes honey Woo! but hey things don't stay the same always do they we always up looking for change but that's all i had to say family now it's your time to get down in them comments let me know what y'all thought about subject matter and i will see y'all next video but as always make sure you like my videos make sure you subscribe to our channel and share the videos as well now see y'all next time bye bye